the Philippine Heart Association. First, we'd like to thank Philippine College of Physicians for allowing us this airtime to be able to relate to you the different advocacies of the Philippine Heart Association. And of course, we'd like to thank you, our media partners, kasi napaka-importante po ninyo sa amin. Um, we've been trying to really educate people all over the Philippines, pero syempre, hindi naman po namin kayang putahan lahat. No? We've been trying to go around, but we have uh, gained significant ground because of you, our media partners. No? Kayo po ang tumutulong sa amin para ipalaganap yung mga advokasya ng Philippine Heart Association. So let me just introduce to you, we are the Philippine Heart Association. We are an organization of nearly 1,800 cardiologists all over the country. So kung makikita po ninyo no, sa daming milyong Pilipino, technically po, there is only one cardiologist for every 100,000 Filipino. Ganun sa adult Filipino. Ganun ka konti ang cardiologists. And um, before, the Philippine Heart Association is primarily concentrated on, you know, advancement of careers of the cardiologists, continuing medical education for the cardiologists. Yun po ang main trust ng PHA dati. It's more of continuing medical education. But over the years, Philippine Heart Association has already evolved into something that is more socially responsible organization. An organization that is concerned with the health of the Filipinos. An organization that wants to decrease the incidence of cardiovascular diseases. And an organization that wants to change the data of the DOH. Gaya ko na pinakita sa inyo ni Dr. Guico kanina, the diseases of the heart and the diseases of the vascular system, particularly mga stroke, have remained to be the number one and the top two killers of Filipinos. That has been the case since the 1990s. It's been more than two years. We have not gained ground. We have tried to fight with it. We have tried to educate people. And yet, patagal ng patagal, nananatili pa rin po siyang pinakamataas na mamamatay ng mga Pilipino. In fact, there is an increasing concern about cancer right now. There is an increasing awareness of cancer right now, particularly breast cancer awareness for women. Pero alam niyo po ba, one out of three women die of cardiovascular diseases. Hindi po cancer ang number one na pumapatay sa mga babae. Ang number one po pumapatay sa mga babae ay sakit pa rin sa puso. Of course, we're very much concerned about cancer. We'd like to decrease the incidence of cancer. But what we want to emphasize is that we must not forget the most important killer is cardiovascular diseases. And bakit po ganito? This is basically a lifestyle disease. No? Yung lifestyle po natin ang nagiging dahilan. Bakit tumataas ang kaso ng mga pasyente na namamatay sa sakit sa puso? Although true, Meron pong portion na namamana ito. Ibig sabihin, kung ang mga magulang mo mayroong sakit sa puso ng araw, di ba, namatay sa atake sa puso, may posibilidad mamana mo siya. Pero, pwede kong matilay ang pagdating nito. Paano? Kung tama ang pamumuhay na ginagawa mo. But if you're not changing your lifestyle, in all likelihood, maaga kang pamamatay sa sakit sa puso. We talked about heart attack awareness. Matuto ang mga tao ma-recognize kung kailan sila nagkakaroon ng heart attack. That's one of the new advocacies right now of the Philippine Heart Association. The other one, uh, the other advocacy is the angina awareness. Kasi, paano mo malalamang ina-attack ka sa puso kung hindi mo alam yung sintomas na ito pala'y sa puso ng gagabi? And so therefore, we also have the angina awareness or the chest pain awareness. Paano mo malalaman na yung sakit ng dibdib na nararamdaman mo ay sa puso pala ng gagaling? Kasi hindi mo lahat ng pagsakit ng dibdib ay sa puso ng gagaling. Pwede siyang pulmonary in origin, pwede siyang gastro in origin, yung kapag meron kang reflux disease, pwede ka rin makaramdam ng pananakit ng dibdib. But there is a particular 
presentation of chest pain that will tell you most likely you're dealing with angina or yung pagsakit ng titid dahil sa sakit sa puso. And that kapag hindi mo siya pinansin or kapag siya iyong pinabayaan, pwede itong mag sa heart attack. So, pupunta ka to sa other end of the spectrum. Now, the other thing that we'd like to do is, kung gusto natin papabain ang incidence ng mga namamatay sa sakit sa puso, ano ang isa sa pinaka-importante kailangan natin gawin? Of course, prevention. Di ba? And how do we prevent? This was already mentioned by Dr. Aleus, Dr. B. Aleus earlier, with regard to the main mantra of the Philippine Heart Association. Our main campaign is the code 52100. What is 52100? Okay? Na-stand po siya sa 52100. 5 stands for 5 servings of fruits and vegetables per day. Kailangan maraming pagkain ng gulay. Marami ang, ang, ang prutas. Huwag masyado, huwag sobra-sobra sa carbohydrates, huwag sobra-sobra sa kaba, di ba? At huwag sobra-sobra sa maalat. Kasi kung sobra-sobra po yung carbohydrates natin, eh medyo malaki ang chances, you might develop diabetes later on. And when you develop diabetes, you can have heart problems later on. The two stands for, if we're talking about children, Less than 2 hours screen time or ma maximum of 2 hours screen time per day. Ibig sabihin, more often than not, dapat po ang mga anak natin, ang mga bata, ay naglalaro. Naglalaro sa labas. Nakikipaglaro sa kapwa bata. Hindi naglalaro with the tablet. The problem right now, most children are playing inside the house, on top of the couch, or on top of the bed with their iPad, iPads and their tablets, no? The whole day, the whole day, halos, yun na yung ginagawa, ni, hindi mo mapakain kasi busy-busy naglalaro, nag, ano bang ginagawa? Yung mga daming games, no? <laughs> ang daming games sa like Clash of Clans, mga kung ano-ano pa. Yan ang ginagawa nila. And this problem with, ch with children is also contributing to what? Obesity in children. It's contributing to obesity in children. There is now an increasing epidemic of obesity in children. Why? Kasi po, di ba, paglabas natin, lalabas kasama si bata, pag tinanong mo, oh, let's go to eat, what do you want to eat? And normally, they will point to fast food. Alam nyo na, hindi ko na sasabihin ko ano. Pero alam nyo na po kung ano ang usually unang-unang alam ng bata pagdating sa pagkain. Ano ang gusto niya? Fried chicken, burger, french fries, soft drinks, di ba? Juices. I've seen children as early as 3 years old umiinom ng soft drinks. And then pag uwi sa bahay, tablet, TV. So eventually, they end up being obese. They end up having hypertension at an early stage in their lives. Dati, when we see children with hypertension, yung mataas ang blood pressure po na bata, ang una namin iniisip, baka may ibang sakit dito. Right? Diba, Dr. Baby? Because it's not common for children to have hypertension. So, when you see hypertension in children, you always think, May problem ba ito sa kidney? Nagkaroon ba ito ng infection ng kidney? Nasira ang bato niya? Kaya tumaas ang presyo ng dugo niya? But right now, there is already an increasing incidence of children na mataas po ang presyo ng dugo na wala kaming ma-identify na cause. It is primary hypertension. Why? Because of lifestyle. The youngest hypertensive patient I have seen was a 12-year-old girl. A 12-year-old girl who actually weighs more than 200 pounds. Mas mabigat pa siya sa akin. And she's only 12 years old. So it is a problem. Okay? Then one, and then for the adults po, less than 2 grams of added salt per day. Diba? Kasi para hindi masyado ma-perpetrate yung hypertension. Dapat, ang pagkain po natin, kung ano na lang yung timpla, yun na. Hanggang maaaring iwasan mo na yung may dagdag ka pang toyo, may dagdag ka pang 
may dagdag ka pang anong tawag dito? Patis, may dagdag ka pang asin, bagoong, wala oh, mahirap siguro sa karigay, no? <laughs> Pero try mo ililit yung added salt in our food, di ba? Then what stands for one hour of exercise per day? Ideally, 30 minutes to one hour of exercise, you want to attain as much as around 150 minutes per week. So, 150 minutes per week, average ko yun ng 30 minutes a day, pwede na yan eh. 30 minutes in 5 days. Then we have zero smoking. Ibig sabihin, no cigarette at all. And that's the reason why we were very active in the campaign for higher taxes for cigarettes. No? Because we don't want young people to be able to afford cigarettes. Kasi sa mga bata po, yung mga nag-aatake sa puso ng mga bata, yung mga 30s, 40 years old na nag-aatake sa puso ng mga ata, when you look at their history, usually ang history po nila, pag in-examine mo sila, hindi mataas ang blood pressure nila. Hindi mataas ang sugar nila. Hindi mataas ang cholesterol nila. Ano ang usually nakukuha mong history? They have been smoking since they were teenagers. Kaya po ang sigarilyo ay isa sa number one cause ng sakit sa puso sa ating mga batang Filipino. And that's the reason why we're campaigning for that. And then the other one is zero sugary drinks. Why? Because if you're taking a lot of sugary drinks, you increase the chances of you developing diabetes later on. Then you know that if you drink a can of Coke, sino mo nagpo-Coke dito? Hindi mo namin kayo aawayin. Tinasagdatanong lang. No, Coke Zero. Yung Coke regular. Sino mo nagpo-Coke regular? Okay. Then you know that if you drink one can of Coke regular, you're actually drinking nine teaspoons of sugar. Nine teaspoons of sugar. It's nine teaspoons na sinamahan lang ng carbonated water. Eh, paano pag kumakain ka pa ng chichiria on the side? Sometimes hindi enough yung isang can, di ba? Ang kaharap mo, 1.5. Yung 1.5 liter, yung maharap mo, may mga kasama ka, inom kayo ng inom, before you know it, naubos nyo na pala yung 1.5, hindi nyo napapansin. Or sino dito yung kaya umubos ng isang 500, di ba? Meron po mga ganun eh, nakaka-500 or dalawang cans of coke, nakakaya nila. Sino po mahilig uminom ng uh, yung mga lactobacilli concoction natin, di ba? In the morning, kasi sabi natin, lactobacilli, that's good for your for your, ano, ano tawag dito? Digestion. Digestion. It is, it is good. However, di ba merong iba dito? Nakakadalawa pa. Di ba? Oh, oh. Masarap eh. Masarap. <laughs> And so we need to be careful with the type of food that we are eating. That's why we're campaigning for this, for education. Unknowingly, hindi natin alam, ang dami na pala natin nakakain ang gas-gas ng fat content, ng calorie content. I remember one time I was in the U.S. Sikat na sikat ang in and out eh. Diba? Sa U.S. yung in and out burger. Uh -huh. Pagpunta mo sa California, in and out burger. Sige nga, makakain nga ng burger with fries. Diba? Pagkita mo. Kasi doon po may ano eh, calorie labeling. Diba? Kaya nakalabel eh. How many calories are you eating? Or who likes to eat pag nag-abroad? They go to Cheesecake Factory. No? Ang dami pagkain doon eh. Sa Cheesecake Factory. Pero may label po yun. There's a calorie table. And you'd be surprised, just from one burger, you're already eating almost 1,500 calories for one burger, one meal. Diba? So, halos yun na yung alamas mo for the whole day eh. Kinain mo lang ng isang kainan. Okay? Now, the other thing we're competing for, because, sabi natin, one hour of exercise. Pero, sino po dito ang kaya mag-isang oras? Or nahihirapan kasi, Sobrang busy. Sino dito ang sobrang busy, medyo mahirap mag-exercise ng isang oras? 
Okay. That's that's reality. Okay? That is reality. Sometimes it's very difficult to do one hour of exercise per day because you're very busy. Dami-dami mong ginagawa. If you're a mommy, magkahanda ka pa ng mga anak mo, magkahanda ka ng pagkain, all of these things, ire-ready mo pa yung susuotin yung step, pag-uwi mo ng bahay, magre-ready ka pa ng dinner, mag-chutor ka pa sa mga anak mo. So you don't need to have time to exercise at all. And so we came up with another campaign, which is a Sneakers Friday campaign. The purpose of which is to encourage people at least every Friday man lang, which is usually a dress down day for companies, that they can wear sneakers and encourage them to walk. Instead of using the elevator, use the stairs. Diba? Mag-park sa medyo malayo, nakarin mo kung mag office. So that you can do, you can walk more. And the, the aim is at least to gain about 10,000 steps sana per day. Pero for you to gain 10,000 steps per day, medyo mahamak lakarin po talaga yan. That's about one and a half hours of walking. If you are just a regular person, nag-o-office ka, diba? kahit maghagdan ka, Eh kung ante siguro 10 floors lagi yung inaakyat mo. Pero if you're just walking up 1 to 2 floors, probably the most that you can gain is about 3,000 steps per day. Medyo mahirap po i-attain yung 10,000. Pero kung kaya mo, go for it. And that's why every Friday we're encouraging everyone to wear sneakers so that they will walk more. But very recently, in the American Heart Association Convention last November, they came up with new guidelines. Hindi na po nila masyado emphasize na dapat isang oras ang exercise mo or dapat minimum of 10 minutes for it to be considered exercise. The recommendation right now is just move. Yun na lang. Gumalaw ka lang. Galaw-galaw lang. Huwag kang nakaupo maghapon. Tumayo-tayo ka, lumakad ka ng konti, kumembot-kembot ka, di ba? Maghagdan ka ng konti. And that can contribute to exercise. Do a little stretching, do a little jumping jump on the side. No? And they were so happy with this one. Kasi ang sabi niya, the important thing is just move. And every minute of movement will contribute to your target 150 minutes per week. So, hindi na po kailangan 10 minutes kung talagang wala kang oras. Kahit pockets of exercises naman. And why were we so happy with that? Because, last July, to complement our Sneakers Friday campaign, we launched another campaign, which is the Fit Heart Minute campaign. And the Fit Heart Minute campaign says, all you need is one to two minutes every hour, short bouts of exercise to boost your metabolism and start burning calories. Yun lang. And if you do one to two minutes every hour, if you have eight hours working hours per day, one to two minutes would be tatamang to about eight to sixteen minutes of exercise, which is still better than no exercise at all. So when we were campaigning for this, sabi namin, ang target lang namin that time, at least, ma, ma jump start lang natin yung fitness journey of everyone. Because we were campaigning for Sneakers Friday, Sneakers Friday was saying 10,000 steps per day, but admittedly, ang daming tao hindi kaya nun. Diba? Yung mga naive exerciser, beginners, Hindi nila kaya yun eh. Pagka ka hindi ka nag exercise tumayo ka lang from here, mag-sprint ka to the door, hahapuin ka. So we were thinking, what can those people who don't regularly exercise do so that we can encourage them to exercise? Kasi mahirap mag-exercise, magsimula kapag hindi ka talaga regular na nag exercise At sa kapapano, kung ikaw ay nanggaling sa atake sa puso, Paano mo ikay nang galing sa stroke? Pwede mo bang sabihin, mag 10,000 steps lang per day? Mahirap yon for the week. And so, the Fit Heart Minute is an all-inclusive campaign to everyone. Regardless of your physical capacity, regardless of your job, 
Regardless of whether you're strong or you're weak, it's exercise that can be done by anyone, anywhere. You don't need a gym. You don't need a big space. All you need is a small space and you can do your exercise. And these are the basic steps of the exercise. The first one is squats. Squats. Pero kung mahina ka, you use a chair. Umupo ka sa chair, tumayo ka. Umupo ka sa chair, tumayo ka. Umupo ka sa chair at tumayo ka. Gawin mo siya ng mabilis ng sampung beses, that is already exercise. Diba? Second step, jumping jacks. However, kung mahina ka, hindi mo kayang tumalawan. Side jacks is enough. And a side jack is stepping on the side. Doing the jack, di ba? Pero hindi ka tumatalon. So pwede siya kahit mera yuma. Pwede siya kahit hindi ka masyadong makalakan. If you do it fast, that will increase your heart rate. And somehow, boost your metabolism. Third is push-ups. Sino ka siyang kaya mag-push-up dito? Sasahin. Eh si Sir, kita naman sa katawan. Pero, paano kung mahina ka? You can actually do wall push-ups. And all you need is have a wall. Yung sturdy ha, na wall. Kailangan ko sturdy yung wall. At run it and you demonstrate. You just go to the wall. Okay? And do that. That is push-up. On the wall. And finally, you do your forward lunges. The forward lunges, kung hindi po kaya, you hold on to one, a table, and then you bring down your leg. And that's forward lunges. Pag ginawa niyo po yan ng mabilis, for 10 repetitions, if you do the four exercises for 10 repetitions as fast as you can, I promise you, hihingalin po kayo, and that will start boosting your metabolism. And if you do that several times a day, then that is already a form of exercise. That is our Fit Heart Minute campaign. And we have pages. The PHA Sneakers Friday, which gives uh, tips, pointers, 